Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? <clears throat> How are you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Fine, okay. thanks. Okay, Marco. Very nice to share. Hey, I can see Dennis. I can see Marco. I can see Juan Antonio. Uh, and yeah. we, we have Catherine. We have Nelson in the class. We have uh, Miss Cañas, Gisela. I can see Claudia. Okay. Hello, and good evening, teacher. Good evening, Claudia. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, I'm really happy to see you. Okay, Nelson. I, I, I hope uh, everybody has, um, that doesn't have any problem with microphone or with camera because, you know, I'm sorry, it's very important for us to, to see you, right? So do me the favor to activate your camera. I hope you proved, uh, I mean, your your microphone before getting into the class, very important, right? Because uh, I'm interested in your participation in the class. So I have uh, Sonia just got into the class. Dennis, I wonder if you have problems with your camera. No, Dennis doesn't have any problem. And Sonia, uh, can you please uh, activate your camera? Janelle got into the class. Hello, Janelle. Okay, now Sonia, now Hello. we can see yeah. you. Hello, Janelle. Can you please Hello. help us? Ah, now yes, now we can see you. Jocelyn, don't forget to activate your camera so that we can see you when uh, participating in the class. Victor, welcome. Hello, Victor, don't forget to activate your camera. All right, so yesterday we were talking about, now who wants to hear me, uh, uh, who wants to hear me, who remembers something about yesterday's class? Something that's, that was significant for you in the class yesterday. Were you sleepy? Were, were you sleepy yesterday? Like, uh, were you sleepy yesterday? Yes or no? Yes. No. You were sleep. Dennis. Oh, so. <laughs> Dennis was sleepy. Now, who else was sleepy yesterday? Only Dennis. Okay. Now, I'm telling you that because uh, today we're gonna talk a, a little bit about the path of the bird to be. I uh, shared a link in WhatsApp, and I hope uh, you saw the video. Okay, if you if you couldn't see the video, don't worry. See it tomorrow. Okay, but see it. It's very important for me uh, that you can take advantage of all the all the videos, the links that I, I can share, or uh, we can see through uh, WhatsApp. Let me see somebody's chatting. Say hi, teacher Kike. Good evening. Okay, very good, very good, Jocelyn Elizabeth. All right, so we're going to start. Are you ready to start? I don't want anybody to be like, like Joni or like uh, kind of sleep in the class. I want you to be activated. Remember that we have 60 minutes and those 60 minutes need to be significant. You have to learn a lot, okay? So let us move on and let's start talking about what we are facing or what we are studying today, okay? And well, yesterday the lesson was about simple past, right? So we we uh, read some statements with um, regular and irregular verbs. Uh, I could see that one person shared a list of 100 verbs in WhatsApp, and that was quite good. That is quite good. So, but if you share 200 verbs, 200 verbs, so. Try to learn them by heart, all right? Try to learn them by heart. You, Of course, you're not gonna learn it in, in a week. Maybe uh, you are going to take like a month, but 
I want you to be sure that you learn those verbs. At least five verbs daily will be all right. Five verbs daily will be all right. Um, well, the lesson objective, one of the lesson objectives we are going to uh, have the, uh, today is the following. We are going to be exposed to listen to a, to, um, a track where uh, the path of the verb be is used. So first, we are going to identify We're going to identify the structure that we are in church of. You know, this is the past of the verb to be, right? If I say, I was, you were, we only have two, we only have two, let me see. We only have two options with the verb to be in the past, okay? We only have was or were. No more than that, okay? So, but if you say, if I say, I was, you help me, please. Where? You were. He what? was. Was. She was. Where? Was. She was, right? It what? was. It was. 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 We were. Were. We were. were. You were. Were. You were. Were. And they were. Were. And they were, right? Were. So actually, this is the verb to be in the past. But we have to uh, see this grammar in context. That's why we're going to go over the conversation and we are going to practice pronunciation and also we will discover. How a uh, give me one second. How uh, the verb to be can be used in in a certain in certain context. All right. So let's let's go. Let's start now. What is the topic? Where's the topic? How was your vacation? How was your vacation? Right. So actually, you are going to prepare something for the group, I mean, for the next class. Desde ya se lo digo, este, van a decirnos o nos van a comentar así que eh, hicieron en sus últimas vacaciones, ¿ok? Pueden tomarse un minuto, unos 30 segundos, la, la cuestión es que practiquen lo que nosotros vamos a ver ahora. Eso será para el día lunes, ¿ok? Okay, now let's go over the let's go over and see the information in the video. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation with past of be if used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of be. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of be. Let's listen. Hi Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. <laughs> All right. Now, listen carefully. You, you, we... Oh, I want you to find out the simple... Okay, I will post. I will post it and we can see what's going on over here. And we can, I mean, we have uh, some information over here. I will ask uh, people to help me to read and check the pronunciation, okay? Okay, Ada, can you help us with the first sentence? Celia's part. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? All right. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? Okay. Let me see. Christian, read the second part, please. Uh, 
sí, no puedes ver ahí qué comer, o cuando llegué se come mi comida china. Stephanie, hello Stephanie. Hey, oh, okay, let me see. I, I can see that Stephanie is, is uh, over here. Stephanie, can you Teacher, read? I'm here. Sorry. Uh, okay, Stephanie, can you help us with the, with this part? Okay. All right. Celia. Uh, I mean, done. Ah, done. Okay. It was it was excellent. I went to Hawaii Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. We had a great time. Okay, very good. Now I will ask. Uh, let me see, Claudia, to read the next part. Hello, teacher. Hello, Claudia. Read the next part, please. Part, please. ¿Dónde vamos? ¿Dónde vamos? Lucky you. Lucky you. Sería Celia. Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sería like, like you. How long were you there? About oh. a week. Oh, sorry. Oh, very, very good. Thank you. About a week. Very good. I will ask David Roberto. Read next part, please. Is David in the class? Yes or no? Well, I will check it later. David. Uh, Dennis, please read next part. Celia's? Yeah. Fantastic. Was the water weak? Oh, sorry. Fantastic. Was the water okay? Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Very good. Then we have Esmeralda. Well, I will check later what happened to Esmeralda. No, Juan Antonio then. Not really. Hey, what's going on? Give me one second, please. Okay. Now, yes. Oh, I want you to. Not really. It was closing most of the time, but we went talking every day. The waves were amazing. The waves were amazing. Very good. Thank you, eh, Juan. Uh, Gisela, please, next part. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Good. And finally, Marco Antonio. El uh, último. Yeah. The last, sentence. the last sentence. Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Wow, that's fantastic. Now listen, listen carefully, because I know that you can you can see the video as many times as you wish. And I I highly recommend you to be like um uh, practicing the video constantly. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about, and notice about the but grammar. Now I, want you to... I mean notice about the grammar that we are in church of uh, studying. Okay, and also about the vocabulary. All right. Now we're going to go over the next part because remember that we are studying about the verb to be in the past. I, we have was, it was excellent. Um, how long were you? Were you there? It's a question. Look at it. How long were you there? It's a question, right? But we are using the verb to be in the past. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. All right. So I, I, I don't think, I, I wonder if you have questions about this conversation.
No questions. No questions at all. Okay, let's continue seeing the video. The simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay. So as you as you could listen to the conversation, um, I want you to notice about how naturally they speak since they are native speakers, right? Quiero que, se, que cuando lo vuelvan a ver, se den cuenta de cuán naturalmente ellos hablan, porque son nativos, ¿verdad? Entonces, nosotros lo que tenemos que hacer es tratar de imitarlos, tratar de sonar eh, que nuestro inglés suene de manera natural. Ok. So, let's go over the next part. Now, we identify the verb to be in the past. We saw uh, the verb to be in context. Ok. Somebody talking about a uh, vacation time, etc. And right now, we're going to go over the next part. And the, the, the lesson objective in this part is that uh, you are going to study the past of the verb be in uh, questions and also short answers, OK? Uh, actually, we're going to have some review about how to create sentences with a uh, simple pass of the verb be positive, negative, interrogative, and that's it, right? Well, now, yes, this is pure grammar, people. And I, I hope that you pay special attention to this. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb be. Let's start. Past of be. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, estates, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? All right. So, Wasn't well, I will stop over here because, you know, uh, if you if you already if you have already started this information, this will be a review for you. But uh, we are going to uh, practice a little bit by creating our own sentences. All right. Now, as you can see over here, we have the verb to be in the past. Were you in Hawaii? Uh, well, some people will help me to read. OK. Uh, Maria Elena, please read this, read the sentence. Everybody will participate. OK. Uh, uh, Claudia, Claudia, help me with the sentence, please. Yes. Uh, were you in Hawaii? Were you in Hawaii? El siguiente también. Yes, please. Okay. Was the 
el, esa palabra, teacher? Was the was weather there, okay? Uh, was the weather okay? Were you and your cousin on vacation? Were you parents there? How long were you away? How was your vacation? How was your vacation? Very good. Uh, sigo. Please. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Sí, no, it was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. But you mean, yes, we were. No, there weren't. Yes, we were. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. It was away. Away, es verdad. Away o away. I was away. I was away for a week. It was excellent. It was excellent. Now we have contractions, it, right? It was. Okay. okay. What? Ay, sería was. Es que el, la L apóstrofe me cuesta. Uh, was, wasn't. Wasn't. Sería. Wasn't. Yeah, wasn't. Wasn't. Was not. Was not. Weren't. Were not. Were, were not. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Now. We have just no questions. And we also have an um, open question, right? Or double H. I will ask you to create your own just no question. And I will ask, for example, uh, Moises. Is Moises here? Now, let me see. I will give you one minute. Le voy a dar un minuto para que creen dos preguntas. Una con respuesta corta y una con eh, double H question word. Ok, tienen que crear dos preguntas y hacer esas dos preguntas a uno de sus compañeros. Ustedes van a elegir a quién. Ok. I will give you exactly one minute. Le voy a dar un minuto para que formulen esas dos preguntas. Ya luego empezamos. Time is running, 15 seconds, and then we start. All right. Oh, okay, do you finish? Do you finish? No, yet. Not yet, okay. Second minute, then. Okay, this is it will be a minute more, no more than that. Okay, five seconds. Okay, stop. I think you got it, right? Uh, Moises Antonio. Hello, Moises Antonio. Hey, Moises is not in the class. Okay, Moises is not in the class. Nelson Rodimiro. Teacher. Okay, Nelson, ask the two questions to some to someone in the class, please. Okay. Um, Choose somebody. Um, jo Jone Jone uh, Jonel 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 <laughs> Hernandez. 
what's you what's you in class today? Ah uh, ah oh, 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 oh. wait a minute Nelson was you or were you? Y tenía una duda si era was or were. Oh so let's see let's see what's going on with this then let us Quiero preguntarle si estuviste en clase ahora. Entonces, ah, so, was or were? Cuando se trata de, de quiero ver tú. Se, cuando se, cuando se, se trata de tú o, o, o. Sí, no es, no es was, teacher. No, it's it, where, where you. Sorry, teacher. Were you at church today? Okay, Jocelyn is, is uh, asking some other question. Okay, let's listen to Nelson. Nelson, now that you that you could correct the, the question, ask the question to Jonel. Okay, uh, were you in class today? Yes, I was. Yes, uh, I was? Okay. Fantastic. Hola, hola, hola. Second hola, hola. one. How was your class in the morning? Uh, pretty good. Uh, okay, you can you can say like, uh, well, it was pretty good. It was sure. pretty good. Sure. But tell me. Eh, pero en eh, por qué en en esta sí puedo ocupar el el was was your class. Ah, okay, really nice question. Let's see. Okay. I will en la explain. primera tenía que ser where y siempre yeah. me refería a tú. Exactly. Pero ahora me estoy refiriendo siempre a tú, pero tengo que usar el, el, el was. No, I mean, if you, if you have, listen, look, look at that. Look at what I will type in the, in the, on the screen. Listen, that's why I told you at the beginning, right? If I say I, then you say, I mean, what is the, what is the form for the verb to be? Was. Nelson. Where? Uh, I wear, we say I wear. Or I was? Was. Ah, okay. I, give me one second. I was. Okay, Nelson, continue. You were. You were. Continue, Nelson. He was. Okay. Continue, she please. Was. She and it was. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, we were and they there. They were. All right. So, <laughs> I mean, all the time will be that way. Okay. It always will be in the same way. Okay, Nelson. Don't forget about it. That's the structure. So, if you want to, if you want to create a uh, questions, then you say. Uh, were you uh well you can this is this is kind of weird but it, it may be possible this is regarding to questions okay okay was I were you so what is the question form for the next one? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Was he? Was he? And the next one? Okay. These are questions, Nelson. That's what I want you to notice about. Uh huh. What What is the uh, the structure for this one? Was it? Was it? Was it? Etc. Right. So I wonder if you if you could see the difference, uh, Nelson. Um. Did I answer your question, or do you still have some questions? Do you still have some doubts? <laughs> Es que en la primera, okay, where you, ajá, uh -huh. where you, ok. Ok, where. Y en, la, y en la segunda, ajá, uh, la, la primera sí, ¿verdad? Ahí está, where you. Y en la segunda era, how, la que le pregunté yo, uh, 
uh, Hernandez. To, to your nail. Uh, how was? Uh, how was? Uh, so that's 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 your question, right? How was your class? No. How no, was your class? So we are referring to the class, right? So uh, how was how was your class? Now instead of saying your class, you say in lugar de decir your class. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pronombre debemos ocupar? How was said? How was it? Mm. That's because we are talking about class. Estamos hablando de la clase. Y el pronombre para clase es it. Your, remember, is a possessive adjective. Esto no es pronombre. Esto es un adjetivo posesivo. Ahí me confundí, teacher. Yo oh, pensé oh. que... Tiene que ver con los pronombres. Lo no, but, no, it's okay. De esa okay. manera, así se hacen las clases, nos hacemos las pausas necesarias, de tal modo que todos, todos aprendamos. Ok. Is Entonces, por eso el cambio, porque se refería yeah. a, a, a tercera persona. ¿Cómo estuvo exactly. eso? Exactly, Nelson. Very good. That was really good. Now, I will ask, okay. I will ask two, two more volunteers and then we will move on. Okay, let me see. People who haven't participated in a class. Uh, Oscar Antonio. Present. Okay, Oscar, ask two questions to somebody in the class, please. Uh, were you working? Were you working? No. Okay, now, question. This is this is my question. Were you working? Were you working or did you work? Uh, fuiste a trabajar. Aha. Uh -huh. So uh, how do you say fuiste a trabajar in English? Were you working? Um. Okay. Did this this is something that you have to uh, you you um have to remember did you go to work or did you work okay did you work i think it, this is better trabajaste did you work okay and were you working I want you to make uh, the difference. I want you to notice about the difference between this, this two, right? Um, uh, maybe I think you are going to learn about this. This, esto se llama pasado progresivo. Y si, justamente vamos a ocupar el verbo to be en pasado. Okay. Were, were you at work? Sería, sería la forma correcta de acuerdo a lo que estamos eh, haciendo ahorita. Were you at work today? Were you at work? ¿Estuviste en el trabajo? Okay. Were you at work? Ok, so. Ajá. ¿A quién le está haciendo la pregunta, eh, Oscar? ¿A Dennis? Ok, Dennis, Dennis. Repeat the, the question, please. Were you at work? No, I stay in the class. Uh, were you at work? Estuviste en el trabajo? Yes, I was or no, I wasn't. No, I was. No, no, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay, very good. Now, second question, Oscar. Um, where? Were you in a camp? Yes, I was. Yes, you were. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Janelle, choose somebody and ask questions, please. Okay. Um, let me see. Marielena, 
sorry. Okay, okay Maria Elena. Hello. Hello. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Um, I watch a weekend. I go to I go to movie. Okay, let us let us help uh, Mary. Let us help Maria. Okay, vamos a ayudarle a Maria. Y ella lo va a decir luego. Okay. How was your weekend, Maria? So you may say like this. It was great. Estuvo genial. It was great. Y luego dice que fue al cine. We, fuimos o fui. En este caso yo voy a poner fuimos. <clears throat> We went to the movies. We went to the movies. To the movies. All right. Now let us try the second time. Vamos a, a intentarlo una segunda vez. Janelle, please. Yeah. Okay. How is how was your weekend, Maria? It was great. We went to the movies. Now that's fantastic, right? Estuvo genial. Fuimos al cine. Estuvo genial. Fuimos Fuimos al cine. cine. Now second question, Janelle. Were you travel this year? No, no. The problem now is with the question. Mm -hmm. Were you travel? Uh uh. Where you travel? Now you have to make some. Where you travel? Where you travel? No, this cannot be possible. No puede ser así. Um, in this case, because of the verb did. Oops. Do you travel? Viajaste? Do you travel? Okay, so let us let us see. Estuviste estuviste en otro país or were you in a, in LA, for example? Estuviste en Los Angeles? Let us, let us try with this. Were you in LA, estuviste en Los Angeles? Let's try, Janelle, ask the same question, please. Were you in LA? Uh, no, it was not. So if you are saying, no, no estuve ahí, so you say, no, I wasn't. Now, no, let, I wasn't. let us try. Janelle, please. Were you in the lake? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Perfect. So that's that's better. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let us, let us ask some more people. Let me see. Um, Ricardo, please, ask two questions to someone in the class. Ricardo Fabricio. Yo todavía sigo un poco mal de uh, oh. la pregunta. I, I, am, I am so sorry. Okay, don't worry, Ricardo. But fortunately, you are in the class. That's quite important. Uh, Sonia Rebeca, please. Okay, good morning, teacher. Good morning. Where were you on your last trip? Quiero ver a quién. Uh, Stephanie Romero. Okay, Stephanie. Where were you on your last trip? Hi. Uh, can you repeat me, please? Where were you on your last trip? Mm, I was and I was at Guatemala. May I? Okay. Was your trip fun? Sorry? 
was your trip fun? Was my trip was my trip when? Fun. 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 Ah, yes, 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 was fun. Yes, okay. it was fun. Wow, fantastic. It was fun, sorry. It was fun. Fantastic. Thank you, uh, Sonia. And let me see. Victor. Uh, choose two people, please. Uh, choose, uh, choose a person, a classmate, and ask two questions. That's the way it is. Sonia, I think you have to ask her. Yeah. Uh, a ella, uh, um... Okay. How was your uh, English class tonight? <laughs> last, it, it may be please? last night, right? It may be last night because right now we are in a class. How was oh. your English class last night? Was great. It was. It was great. great. Okay. Uh, in your in your vacation, uh, was your uh, USA? Uh, okay. Now let us help, uh, Victor. Where you? Uh, okay. Where were you in your last vacation? That may be the question, right? Where oh, okay. were you in your last vacation? Okay, you... my my last vacation was on Costa Rica. It was in Costa in Costa Rica, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Victor. Okay. Uh, Xiomara. Yes. Xiomara, ask Jocelyn, please. Okay. Where you at? home today yes i was yes i was second question where are you in uh, nicaragua no i wasn't no i wasn't simple like that very good Okay, now we have already practiced about this. You know, you can create as many sentences or questions or negative statements with the verb to be, okay, in the past, of course. Okay, let me see. Equals was not. Now, let's move Weren't on to the next equals. part. Okay, let's move on to the next part. We're almost done, okay? And we are still missing 15 minutes. I think we are going to be able to finish, right? If we are not able to do so, then uh, do me the favor to complete every single exercise uh, in the platform. Now we are going to have some practice. We, we, we are gonna complete the following conversations and try to remember to use the pass of the verb to be, okay? I have the, the first one. I have the first one. How long your parents in Europe? What is the verb? Where? Don't tell me only where. Tell me the whole sentence, please. How, how long were your parents in Europe? How long were your parents in Europe? Very good. Number two. Where? They were for where? two weeks. Okay. They were there, they were there for two weeks. Number three. Where? Where? In London the whole time. Were they in London the whole time? Good. Number four. Where? No, but tell no, me the where? whole statement, no, please. Where? They were. Ah, over here is kind of different, right? Because it's negative. No, they weren't. No, they, they weren't. also, went, they also went to Paris. No, they weren't. They also went to Paris. All right, number five. Where, where in, you in Los Angeles last weekend? 
Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Good. Number six. No, it, no, no, I, I wasn't. wasn't. It was, I was oh, in San Francisco. I was in San Francisco. No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. Number seven. How it? How was How it? How was it? How was it? Very good. Number eight. It was great. It was great. It was great. It was goofy. It was foggy, right? Foggy. Uh, I wonder what's the meaning of the word foggy. Who wants to tell me the meaning of the word foggy? ¿Quién me dice qué significa foggy? Okay. What's the meaning for, uh, of the word foggy? Nublado. Nublado. Okay, very good. So whenever you have you encounter a new word, try to get it, okay? Number nine. Where, where, where yeah, you but, were you away last week? Were you away last week? And number ten. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Now let's check. Okay, let's see if we did it. Number one, it's okay. Number two, all right. Number three. Pretty good. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number ten. Wow, you are awesome. You are awesome. Okay, now I wonder if you have any question about this exercise. Preguntas, chicos? No. No. no, not at all. Okay, so let's move on, please. Let's move on to the last part. I think this is the last part. And uh, here, ah, this is this is going to be part of your job. And we are going to start today. Okay? Yeah. Tell me. Yeah, big big ah. Did you did you get into the class yesterday? Entró a la clase ayer, Victor? Ah, ok, sí lo vimos, Víctor. Vimos cómo, has, cómo crear oraciones en pasado con otros verbos. Por ejemplo, no, si... Por, por decirle el was, el, el subject, eh, a, eso, a eso me refiero. Ah, ok, so we, we did it. We did it, actually. Ok, and now, if you want, we can, we can see that part. Okay, and we can have some review. Sure Vamos a hacer algún repaso, okay? Let's see. Were your parents... Ahora, en lo que hacemos el repaso con Víctor, los demás eh, empiezan a trabajar en contarnos cómo fue sus últimas vacaciones, cómo fueron, a dónde fueron, con quién fueron, y eh, cómo la pasaron, okay? Empiezan a trabajar en eso. Aprovechemos el tiempo en lo que yo hago un repaso con, con Víctor de esto. Ok, Víctor. Eh, now, as you know, Víctor, the verb to be has to form, right? In past. Do you remember? Okay. Escucho, yeah. escucho. Yeah, I mean. Do you remember about the verb being past? Be. In past, what are the two forms? Was and where. Ahí están las dos formas del pasado del de verbo to be. All right. And you can you can you can create uh, positive statements, negative statements, and interrogative statements. And also in the interrogative statements, you have just I mean uh, just no questions. As the one that you have at the beginning, were you in Hawaii? You have only two options, right? You you say yes or you say no, right? But you have to include the verb to be. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Or no, I wasn't. Were you at school today? Uh, Victor? Sí, le escucho. Okay, Victor. Victor, this question is for you. Were you at school this morning? Uh, no, I wasn't. Fantastic, right? 
So you see, were you at school? Now, was was your daughter at school this morning? Was your daughter? Do you have a daughter or do you have a son? Two daughters. You have two daughters. Okay. Was your daughter at school this morning? Donde estudió, me está preguntando. O donde no, estuvo. No. Was your, was your daughter, yeah, that's right. Was your daughter at school? Uh, my daughter, she was. Uh, Lambert, Lambert School se llama la escuela. Yeah, but, but listen to me. Now, if I ask you, hey, were you at school this morning? You say, no, I wasn't, right? Now, now the question is, it's the same question, but I'm asking about your daughter. Para mí. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's about your daughter. Was your daughter at school this morning? Yes or no? Activate your microphone, please. If you say yes. Yes, she was. Ah, fantastic. Okay, so the answer is yes, she was. All right. And then you have just no question, right? Remember that the verb to be in the past is I was, you were. I will, I will type it once, once again. I was, you were, he was she was it was we were you were oops you were and they were so this is a structure actually uh victor and as you can see, the sentences are, uh, I mean, we have just no questions and we have a uh, double H questions like, how long were you away? Uh, where were you yesterday? A donde estuviste ayer? Where were you yesterday? I was. I was in, in my war. <laughs> okay, you were at war, right? Okay, so that's actually, that is the way in. We also have like a contractive form of the verb to be. Wasn't is the same as if you say was not, right? Or wearing is a contractive form for we were not. I mean, we're not. O sea, que, que, que eh, la estructura quedaría eh, artículo de was o... o... Es un artículo. Uh, uh, this is a verb. It's a verb. Uh, so I, I think, I, I mean, you are thinking about the structure, right? So let me see. So it may be. So if it is a question, si es una pregunta, empezamos con el verbo bien pasado. Bien pasado. Bien pasado. Then. Más. Ajá. Uh -huh. Subject. Subject. Ajá, a, a eso me refería. Okay. Plus complement, right? Okay. Complement plus question mark. Okay. Así se hacen las preguntas con el verbo be. Sí, es, esta estructura es la que me, me, me le preguntaba. Ah, uh, okay. Very good, yeah. Victor. Okay, now let us let us let us try to finish, okay? Because people already started working on their last vacation. Remember that the next week you are going to uh, share. Van a hablar por lo menos unos 30 segundos o un minuto referente a sus últimas vacaciones, cómo estuvieron, lo que ustedes nos quieran contar, háganlo, eso está súper para que nos demuestren cómo han estado practicando el idioma. Eh Les, les, les pido por favor que terminen todas las actividades en la plataforma 
¿ok? Para que queden registrados de que ustedes ya... Um, dígame, Janelle. That was a question. Tell me. Eh, eh, la siguiente, yo le digo. En el 2.13, fíjense que ya traté de hacerlo y no me salen las oraciones. La 1 no. y la 3. Ah, veámosla, veámosla. Ups, lástima que ya casi se nos termina la hora, pero vamos a tratar en la medida que sea posible, solventarlo. Let's see. En la 13. En esta parte. Ah, es un listening. All right. Ok, en el listening, yo les recomiendo que lo escuchen eh, súper bien. Where did Jason go? Veamos, para... Voy a mostrar la respuesta, Jonel, porque ya no tenemos tiempo. Y, pero le vamos a sacar siempre provecho a la actividad. Todos pueden ver las la, la respuestas ahorita para que se quede en su memoria y lo empiecen a escuchar. ¿Ok? The first one, where did Jason go? ¿A dónde fue Jason? San Francisco. He went Desde to que San Francisco. Yo tengo, justamente lo puse así, he went to San Francisco y no me la agarro. Fíjese a veces que... Es el punto. El a punto veces... Final. A veces es que no ponen mayúscula al inicio, otras veces es que um, no ponen punto, otras veces mayúscula. es que, digamos, si es un estado, no le ponen mayúscula sí. aquí. Era mayúscula. Entonces, Entonces era, por esas era. cositas no les va a agarrar. Veamos el otro. Yes, sí. yes, eh, yes it did. Si no le puso la coma, es lo mismo, después de yes y, y el punto. Entonces, fíjense en eso, porfa. Eh, home, eh, she stay home in the period. Recuérdense que las oraciones empiezan con mayúscula. And the last one, yes, she did, eh, yes, she did. Yes, coma, she did. Si usted no le pone la coma, no se lo va a tomar en cuenta. Ok, Chanel. Ya lo cambié a la mayúscula. He went to San Francisco porque solo tenía la, la uno y la tres mal y no me lo no me lo agarro quizás solo San Francisco pongo solo San, San Francisco en teoría lo tiene que agarrar Ajá. hagamos una cosa Jonel tómele una foto y lo sigue intentando luego pero le recomiendo que no solo lo transcriba sino que escuche súper bien el audio y ya luego lo empiece a contestar ok Jonel bueno gracias ok Uh, bueno, chicos, este, recordemos que ya la otra semana vamos con eh, la segunda, eh, perdón, la tercera eh, eh, parte del curso y hay que, quien quiera adelantar, pues está perfecto. Y quien quiera estudiar más eh, referente a esos temas eh, utilizando otro tipo de recursos, lo pueden hacer también. Para nosotros, el hecho de que ustedes aprendan eh, es muy significativo. Queremos que ustedes aprendan muchísimo en nuestros cursos, dentro de los cursos y fuera de nuestros cursos, ¿ok? Porque recuérdense que aprender no solamente va a ser en, en el lapso de una hora. Ustedes pueden tomarse otro tiempo este, durante el día para practicar, ¿ok? Uh, solo voy a, corrobor a corroborar la lista eh, de asistencia y terminamos, chicos. No escuché, por ejemplo, a Cristian Salatiel. No sé si está por acá. Cristian. Bueno, voy a dejar de, voy a dejar de compartir. Eh, ¿Jonel pudo tomar la foto? Sí. Ahorita la voy a mandar al grupo para que vea. En el... uh, ok, Janelle. Vaya, Cristian no está entonces. Cristian. Quiero ver aquí. No, Cristian no pudo entonces. Y eh, otra está. persona. Perdón. Ahí está. Y ahí está justamente como... Así las había contestado, justamente así las ha puesto usted, pero no me las agarra a mí. 
Bueno, a lo mejor, a lo mejor quizás la plataforma, pero Teacher, ajá, dígame. con respecto a lo que al problema que tiene la compañera Yanel, a mí me pasaba similar. Entonces lo que hice fue poner las respuestas cortas, que en este caso eran solo San Francisco, yes, home y yes, pero todo en minúscula y sin el punto, porque si le ponía mayúscula al principio y si le ponía el punto no me lo agarraba. Ah, ok, ok, Le, pra, veamos eso entonces, pero en realidad pues sí tendría que ser así como, Sí, como están las respuestas. así como me dice ella San Francisco nada más. Ok. Y, y en minúscula, y sin el punto. Ok, solo voy a corroborar chicos la lista, por favor ayúdenme David Roberto. Ay, no, no está, ¿verdad? Esmeralda, Isabel, ok, Moisés Antonio, ok, Moisés, solamente ellos, los demás, pues sí estuvieron este, activos en la clase, y este, yo sé que la hora, no sé si a todos les cuesta un poquito de 9 a 10, pero les voy a animar siempre a que estén activos en la clase, ¿ok? Muy despiertos, muy concentrados, practicando, ¿ok? Tómense una tacita de café antes de, de entrar a la clase, ¿ok? O algo que les, que les quite un poquito el sueño porque es necesario que estemos activos todos, ¿ok? Este, los veo la otra semana, eh, que Diosito los bendiga y sigan estudiando inglés, ¿ok? Gracias, compañera. Okay, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Okay, Gracias. Good night. 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 Good night.